Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Right, so, got as far as we could yesterday, as you saw in the video. Waiting for the skip to be emptied. Um, it won't be getting emptied until tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, the skip guy did actually contact us and say, I need the skip. And we said, that's fine, come and get it. Um, and we need a replacement one. And he said, oh, okay then. In which case, Friday, and yesterday was Wednesday. Uh, so that's a bit unfortunate, but I do have another job I can do today, which isn't gonna take that long, but I've also uh, decided to do a little bit of a job on that wall there, where the uh, pipe comes out for the extractor fan for the kitchen so what I need to do is repair where this fly door goes oh, oh, flies go away flies go away oh, crikey <laughs> so what's happened is Loki and Dover when they're playing and trying to get out in a rush the barge it open at the bottom here I'm going to state of that uh, what they've done is they've loosened all the hinges but that one's nearly out now and that one's loose being ripped out and that one down there is also loose so in essence the door does this now so what I actually need to do is to remove the door and then break out where all the roll plugs are and just make a big a big hole and then pack it and I'll use Yeso and the hemp, the grass stuff, to make it really, really strong. Well, that's called a five minutes. Not even, actually. Uh, okay, so, holes are made. I'll try and show you the problem. These, these terracotta bricks are lightweight and uh, that's all they seem to have. Uh, I'm sure that they are solid bricks as well, but... Everybody builds them out of these terracotta bricks. Look at the size of the hole. That's just... And that goes up to the next brick. And down to the next brick. This one the same. So you've got no chance of using roll plugs in these walls. Uh, I should have done this in the first place, but... I was hoping that it would work. <laughs> We knew it wasn't. We should have done it right. We should have done it this way in the first place, as I say, but we didn't. Uh, so, anybody who's uh, using or buying a place, if they haven't already done so, using these terracotta bricks, there you go. There's a bit of information you could save you a lot of time in the future. All right, I've got my mix made. Got my three splodges with the uh, grass stuff. All right. Everything I'm doing the past couple of days, I've had no room to do it to, to show what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try and do this one-handed whilst holding the camera and hopefully get the idea. So, right, I'm ready. The bit was too big. Uh, all I'm gonna do is just shove it in. Oops, I didn't say that very well, did I? And then just make sure it goes right in. Yeah, make sure it goes right in and packs really, really tight. And because this is the controlled one, it'll take ages to go off. So this will be solid as. Okay, so done these, done there, done there, and done down the bottom. It's a little bit messy. That's fine because once it's dried off, then I can just give it a quick rub down and then uh, just top up, repaint. So that'll be solid in not a lot of time. Now I've got some spare left, so I'm gonna to add to it, to that bit. And I'm going to put it, because I know we're gonna have end up with a problem there too, around here just around there because I'm going to be wanting to put 
um, event guard over. So, uh, so I'll do that now with this stuff and then that's that bit done. Right, as with most things, once you've mixed it, you can't really top it up. So what I'm going to do is try and avoid the flies. I'm going to put this lot up and get it in there and then go make another batch and continue. I've got to be careful so I don't um, collapse the, the tube. That's all right. I didn't need to make any more. So that's brilliant. Um, this is all getting coated very soon, I hope. So it doesn't matter that it's a little bit. Loki, could you be a little bit more clumsy? Yes? Good boy. Um, that's fine as it is, because it's all going to be getting coated soon. So uh, at least now we've got something to drill into that's going to hold the roll plugs that then holds a plastic cover. And it's going to have a plastic cover that flaps. So uh, when it's not in use it closes and when it is in use it just blows out. It won't start to keep your crawlies and it would seem that we've had a gecko going in and out of there because some gecko poo. Right, so this is uh, around the flu vent and that's solid, nice and solid, so that's another another bit done. Right, slowly, 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 slowly. Um, once this wall's all coated, then uh, the cover will go on. Well, it's raining this afternoon, go figure. And Chris did a fab job of filling the holes here. He said, this afternoon, let's put the door up. And I went, not till I've painted those bits. And if I'm gonna paint those bits, I may as well paint the whole room because it needs touching up from its first coat a long time ago. So we removed the washing machine that's been living here for the last three years. And that was back breaking, but we now have a lovely wide corridor, but I'm gonna paint it all because now it really screams the various marks as we've walked around. Got rid of the dog grubble. Yes. With all sorts of chemicals. I hope the paint takes the chemicals that I had to use. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Sure it will. It'll be fine. It'll be whatever it is. This. So. Chris has dropped the uh, lights so that I can easily paint around those. We've got marks where I had a pencil in my hair when I was doing something. There's pencil marks. Um, we had to change the power in here and that was patched and never painted white again. Um, there used to be something up in the corner here that's been removed and filled and never painted. And it's got some scuff marks here and bum marks here. We used to scoot around the washing machine and catch our bums on it. And we've got jeans marks along the wall here as a stripe. So we're gonna make it all go away. Yes. With white. Yay. And you're gonna start at that end. I'll move that stuff there that's down there by your feet. Yes. Um, and then we had to paint there and then it's gonna have to go back again because we don't want it in here. I don't want it in my <coughs> kitchen. It's gonna to have to live here till we use it. At the end of the day, this needs using out three there. meters that way. Yeah. And those need using over there. We're going to take everything out of there before we can lay the floor anyway. So there's no point adding this to that. So we'll oh, have to no. live there. Hello. Don't, don't look at the floor. I'll fix it afterwards. <laughs> Halfway. No, 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 don't. No, 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 I don't need a dog in the wet paint. Dover, Dover, not that way, mate. Right, good boy. Okay, now, now go home. Come on, go turn on. around. Come on. Have I oh, you got your go. You got your, you look like Gizmo from Gremlins. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay. He's not a plastic bag over and he's freaked out. He needs Dover, to get to me now. Come on, out the way, Dover. Right. Look. Look at your head. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's because we're you're doing laughy things. Yes. Look at that. That's with the camera I'll show it to you. No, yeah, I've got off. it. I've got it now. Hello, you. He's gonna put his head on the paint again. No, he's got his whole body on it instead. <laughs> Okie doke, right. 
Go on. Go let's, and boss back into the kitchen. Let's go back this way. <laughs> right, so leave you to it a little bit. Yes. Okay. Won't be long. Won't okay. be long. Cast them. Come and cast an expert eye and see if I've missed anywhere. Because some of it was still quite white from before. Some of it was kind of funny, doggy brown. <coughs> No, it looks all right to me if you've just got that last little bit over there to do. Yes. I don't see any problems apart from measles on the floor, which will be cleaned up. Just a bit. No, looking good. Awesome. All there was a very really strange brown patch over there where Loki lies upside down in the night time. <laughs> well, you don't want to be laying upside down in the night time tonight because the paint will still be damp. Oh, yeah, we won't have, we will no longer have a monochrome dog. <sighs> yes. It was mostly white. Yes. Right, so. Well, the skip didn't come today. And uh, you just recently got a call saying he's not coming today now. He's not coming till Monday. There you have it. Yes. Anyway, after having all this painting done and me fixing this, I now look to Mark to put this back up. So I'm. That's... We do have the correct tools. No, we don't have a pencil that'll go for this little tiny hole. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm using my canoodle. Right. With this stuff, I shouldn't have to use the hammer drill. I was going to say, that's not a, that's <laughs> not a hammer, darling. That, that definitely isn't a hammer. Don't. <laughs> you don't need to use the hammer function of the drill. Yeah, <laughs> which is lucky because this one doesn't have it. problem with this door and the height is because it, it matters because it's just yes. got enough room at the top to not be bashing the, the uh, ceiling. Go away mosquito. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Mosquitoes this time of year. Yes. Just have to maybe angle it slightly at the bottom because these screws aren't tight yet to make sure they're going in the right place. Ooh. So I should have done this in the first place. I know, we were just in a hurry one day and just thought, better get one up quick. Yes. Okay. Shall I test? Yes. Ready? Oh no. Too high. I've got adjustment on it. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll have to adjust it. <laughs> so, fixed it. What we've found with these doors is that the droop, because they're a bit naff, will work. So, we a piece of wire that you may or may not have seen. We just removed this piece of wire, no longer touches the ceiling, it closes nicely. Yay! Now we don't put a magnet on the bottom even though it would be better because the dogs just trash it even more. Just trying, they've got to get out. And they've got to get out. At least if we don't have a magnet there they can pull, get a paw behind it and, and open it. Awesome. Right. No, another job jobbed. Well, something else a little bit different. Yes, we always seem to go down the same roads because all roads lead to where we live. <laughs> Chris is very jealous that I was in the UK and I had the opportunity to have pork pie. So we have looked on the internet and there is a English butcher near us and we're going there to buy him a pork pie. 
That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not very true at all. It's your birthday today, and yes. I promised you steak for your tea. Well, yes. But we could have gone to the local shop for that, instead of which we're going to this place because it also does pork pies. Yeah. <laughs> right, nearly home now. Well, not far off. Sunny now. Sun's coming through. Still cloudy. Yeah, well, it's still Quite hazy. Cloudy. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, that's the turnip for the box. So we went to this English butchers. I had a sniff of his sausages, didn't I? His... That sounds really rude. He... <laughs> I know, that's why I said it like that. <laughs> he checked. They talked about Lincolnshire sausages, and sausages were produced for Chris to sniff, believe it or not. And we bought some. Yes. I think they could, from my nose, from my senses, my tingly senses, it needed a little bit more sage. But it's obviously got to appeal to everybody. Yep. See when we cook them. Had a pot pie, a small one. Yes. Better than the other ones I've tried, and I'm really, really picky because I'm a, I'm a greedy pig when it comes to food, and I know what I like, and I like what I know in that respect. Yes. And uh, it was eaten. The last times we've bought pork pies. From various bin. places, they've been thrown in the bin. This one was actually eaten, yes. so it, it had potential basically. Yes. It wasn't a hot water pastry, it was a disappointing. It had no jelly. Why? You know, a lot of people don't like the jelly these mm, days. You've no, got to, right. as you say, it's got to cater for I know. who's going to buy them. But anyway, you could have done with a little touch of pepper as well. Yeah, but that's been really picky. However, however. Conversation ensued with the butcher. Yes. Ten. Yes, it did. And he said, "Are you just here on holiday, or just looking around?" I said, "No, we live here." Oh, really? Where do you live? And we told him the, the big town near where, because he wouldn't know. The, the chance I wouldn't know the name of our village, our villagey town bit. Yeah. So we told him the nearest one, and he said, "Oh." Are you busy? Are you busy on the lead up to Christmas? I said, a little. Doing the renovations. Oh, and then Lillian went, yeah, but I'm not working up to Christmas. Yes, he can come and help. Basically, I offered his services for a potential job. Pimped me out. I pimped, pimped, him, pimped out. him out to do some butchery, possibly at Christmas. We'll see if anything transpires over it or not. Time will tell. He's got to send some messages and uh, we'll see what happens. Look at this bloke beating the stick up. Oh, sheep. It would have been a bit more helpful if you was made it a bit more aware that there were sheep. About potentially bringing it out into the road. Have you got, any, have you got too many, mate? <laughs> I can take one off your hands. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Lily actually felt, had a memory on her face thing, Facebook, wasn't it? Facebook memories. All yeah. of you have got Facebook, you know about memories. Seven years ago Seven today. Seven years ago today, I said, Lily Be Lily. quiet, let me talk. Oh, no, sorry. Shut up. Okay, you better Just start that Facebook memories. Would I like to share this memory from seven years ago today? As we said it earlier, today is my birthday. For my birthday, seven years ago, I went to work. I came back from work and there was a whole lamb carcass on the kitchen side in my kitchen and two new knives. And he said, Happy birthday, I'm gonna teach you how to chop up a chicken, how to chop up a lamb carcass, how to butcher it. Said, Practical presents. Boys, if you remember, Stan Lee, how to butcher, never mind flowers or flowers. But you did say you would like to learn how to do some butchery. Yes, I know. You were working at a farm shop that had a butcher's and 
you kept getting called in every so often to help behind the counter if he was busy or something. Yeah, so I can butcher now. A bit. A bit. Mm. I can I can t I can cut carcasses up into their correct bits, and I can bone a leg and bone a shoulder and things. Mm. Nothing major. But seriously, darling, the idea is for not for a bird. Oh, come on, didn't know who it was. Well, you should do. You've seen the car often enough. I know. So anyway, yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. And today you got a bite of a pork pie. <coughs> today I got a bite out of a pork pie. There you go. So we're off to see if we can find steak somewhere else. And potentially we're not going to, and we'll be having Lincolnshire sausages for birthday supper. No. 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 That's going to be sausage boy for dinner. For lunch, you mean? No, I have dinner. You can have lunch if you want. I have dinner. I have breakfast, which I don't. Dinner and tea. I Whereas have... you have... Breakfast. Elevenses. I do not have elevenses, you... I have breakfast, lunch Eleven. and supper. 